Hi everyone. Happy Thursday. It's Renee Marie here on Together for a Moment. <sighs> Thank you so much to my class of 81 graduates that replied yesterday and hooked on and connected and I'm really honored to be your friend and to have such wonderful friends as all of you. Um, today's thought for the day is aphasia and uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's the result of a brain injury or stroke where you really have problems communicating. Um, I don't know if you've ever encountered someone that couldn't talk, that they lisp, uh, uh, and they really have problems understanding what you're saying. That is aphasia. And I guess if I was to think about putting myself back in that place, because I did suffer from aphasia. I remember being in um, in physical therapy and therapy for my aphasia and looking at the book and uh, read and trying to understand what the boy ran meant and saying it and uh, uh, I really couldn't say it. So I guess that was a pinpoint moment and I remember I remember something in me saying to me, Remember this moment because it's going to be really important for you. And um, and I rem I always remember that because sometimes I put myself back in that place when I'm with patients that suffer from aphasia and have had a stroke or a brain injury. Um, so if you're to ask me how to treat them or what to do with them because they don't understand is just send them love, really, just send them love um, because I feel that they will feel the love that you're sending. They don't need to understand it. And when you're surrounded with love, it changes the world. It changes the world. Love is the answer and love changes the world. So if you approach someone or someone approaches you who suffers from aphasia and can't communicate with you, just spread love with them. Just just feed love to them. They'll feel it. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. And it's Friday. Have a wonderful night.